Hi everyone, you're watching New Egg TV. I'm Jennifer and today I'm going to be giving you a product overview and demonstration of this grill with fondue pot from eWare. Okay, so here we have everything that comes in the box. I'm gonna go over each piece with you and then we're gonna move to another location for me to actually demonstrate this product. Now, first up, we have the instructions for use. And now um, with this, you get instructions for safety and how to set up the product, but there are no serving suggestions in here. For that, you might wanna go over to the eWare website if you need some ideas for how to use this. But otherwise, I'm just gonna be experimenting with food and see how it goes. Uh, first up on top, we have the fondue pot. It comes with six fondue forks and a ring that has little divots in it to hold the fondue forks. Move that aside. On top of the heating element is the grill tray. Now this is hand washable only. It is uh, Teflon coated, so you don't want to put that in the dishwasher. Then underneath we have, you can see here, the actual heating element. You definitely don't ever want to touch that when it's on or take the grill part off when it's on. So underneath uh, are these little warming trays, which you can put different foods in, maybe toast some bread. I have no idea how to use them, but I'm going to find out and show you uh, some serving suggestions for that. And then uh, you get eight of those, so eight servings, and uh, it's really designed specifically for entertaining. You know, if you have friends over, everybody gets a little appetizer, everybody, you know, can play with the fondue set. Okay, so underneath we have the, um, the control, so you have off and on with the button, your heat control knob is here, and then your power indicator light. Now the whole thing plugs into the wall and is electric. As promised, I'm going to be doing a demonstration of the eWare fondue pot and grill. And for you, I'm going to be making actually a hot pot style soup with grilled vegetables and some little um, omelets in the bottom pans. So let's get started. I'm gonna prep some veggies and we'll get rolling. The first thing we need to do is prep the eWare grill and fondue set. So I've already washed by hand um, all of the surfaces that we're going to be eating off of. It's very important that you do wash this by hand because it's Teflon coated and you can't put those in the dishwasher. So get it all set up and ready. I've plugged it in and per the instructions, I've made sure that I'm on a heat proof surface and also not too close to the wall. And there's a good distance between the heat surface and my cut, or, um, sorry, my cabinets here. Try not to keep rattling that. I'm sure it's pretty noisy. Anyway. So I'm going to prep the cooking surfaces first by turning on the grill and then I'm going to set it right now to a lower temperature. So there's five different heat settings, obviously one being the lowest, five being the hottest. I'm going to set it at a two just to get it warmed up. And I'm first going to take all of these little spatula pans off and I'm going to put some olive oil on them. Even though they are nonstick, you still want to put a little bit of an oil or butter in these to make sure that you get a good release, especially when you're cooking eggs. So let's get started with that. Okie dokie. So we've got all of those prepped here. We're gonna set them aside. Aside. And get the broth going for the hot pot. So I'm going to use what's left of my little bit of olive oil here on my um, paper towel. Just rub the bottom of the pot a little bit and get some good flavor going in there. And also that helps prep the pan for cooking. Stick it on here. And I'm going to add a little over three cups of this low sodium vegetable broth that I bought because I save time that way. And I'm also going to add some water. Okay, and now to my broth, I'm gonna add some vegetables that I've cut up. I have some sliced onion, cilantro, and a little bit of lemongrass that I've chopped and crushed to get the flavors out. And I'm also gonna add about three cloves of chopped garlic and about an inch or so of chopped ginger root. Okay. 
Okay. Pepper. Salt. I'm going to add um, about a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar. and some toasted sesame oil. There we go. Stir that up and let it come to a simmer. Up next, we are going to start getting our little mini omelets ready. So I've got some eggs here. I'm just gonna crack these right into the vegetables. Okay, so I'm going to add a little milk to that. So now, with our prepped pans, I'm going to take a small ladle and just Fill each one with a little bit of the egg and vegetable mixture and put it on the grill. Now the heating element heats from both sides, so this actually is a really great way to maximize the space available in the grill by having a lower heating pan. Some other ideas that I had um, before coming up with this was doing something like um, a toast, like a crostini with maybe a little cheese and some bruschetta on there if you wanted to uh, use it that way. This way everybody gets their own little omelet. So next up, while we're waiting for the broth to come to a boil and our, our egg omelets to cook, these should only take a few minutes, uh, we wanna start getting some of the vegetables that we're going to be using to dip into the hot pot broth pre-cooked a little bit. Because the idea about the hot pot is everybody kind of sits around it and then using the um, forks, here to you know take vegetables and then dip them into the broth to um, cook them a little bit more but things like these yams are going to need a little extra help cooking at first so we're going to just put some that I've already pre-sliced right onto the grill surface and get them started cooking and also I have some yellow bell pepper and some uh, criminy mushroom caps. Some broccoli. Just start getting these all cooked. There we go. Also, I have some pre-made uh, chicken wontons or pot stickers that we will be cooking with the broth. All right, so after about 10 or 15 minutes, um, we have the egg omelets, which are nice and cooked. You can see they have a good release right off of the nonstick surface. So I'm just gonna serve it right out onto the plate here. All right, I think I'm gonna give one of our, our little dumplings here a try. Dip them in the hot pot. Mmm. That broth came out really good with that strong lemongrass taste. And since it has the open top, it's kind of been cooking down a little bit. The onions are really well cooked and all the flavors are really coming together right there. So this is a fun thing to do with uh, family or if you have a group of friends and you all want to get together and, um, you know, cook your own meal together. It's a great way to have conversations and learn about food. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this product overview and demonstration of the eWare fondue pot and grill. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, thank you for watching Newegg TV.